Well, I was recruited starting in 1972 by the chair, the original chair of the Department of Neurosciences, Bob Livingston, who sold me on the idea of coming here because of the strong interdisciplinary spirit between the School of Medicine and the general campus and between basic science and uh, the clinical translational activities that were planned. The year that I actually came, decided to come, was 1977, so I'm going on my 42nd year here as a professor. UC San Diego allowed me to build uh, programs that interconnected advanced imaging, computing, and microscopy technology development to show for the first time how the structures inside of cells, particularly neurons, uh, are organized. That led us to understand age-related susceptibilities of molecules, structures, and cells that are leading us to uh, important new understanding of what happens when you age, what parts start to fail first, what your genetic predisposition is, so I think those are the most important things, not only historically, but in terms of uh, where we're going and what's important to work on. Well, when I arrived, the school was involved in an experiment with no basic science departments, only clinical departments, in which there was a 50-50 split of basic scientists and clinical translational scientists. It was an experiment to try and accelerate and enhance the effectiveness of cross-training by having shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder in each department a good collection of people from different science and medicine camps. That experiment really worked in that we created a medical school that was both a powerhouse in science and became preeminent quickly and over time developed with certain clinical specialties that were leveraging these new discoveries. 